good in the web? This is your boy Q, back with another movie review. I just seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 last night, and you know what? It was actually a really good movie, and I had to get online and talk about it with you. I really enjoyed the movie, and I went into the movie not expecting at all to enjoy the movie because I felt, first of all, that the first one was a little lackluster. I also feel that this was one of the best movies, if not the best movie, to actually be featured to usher in this new wave of movies for this year. I generally have not been as excited about a comic book movie, and that's including Logan, since Civil War. If you're going into this movie thinking that you're about to find this blockbuster story or you're going to get these actual links and pieces that fit together with every other Marvel movie within the cinematic universe, I hate to tell you, you won't. But what you will get from this movie is more characterization. You get a chance to go into the lives and the group of the Guardians of the Galaxy. You are thrust right into another mission, well, a mishap of an adventure with Rocket, Baby Groot, Star-Lord, Gamora, and Drax. And it's some old characters like Nebula and Yondu who make a, another return. As well as new characters like Russell Crowe, Sylvester Stallone, and a new fan favorite, Mantis. Now, I initially thought that this movie was going to be, because I heard a little stuff, it was just going to be the Baby Groot show, and right at the beginning of the movie with the dance scenes and all the comedic twists and things, I actually thought that that's what it was going to be. But the movie actually surprised me and turned out to be not like the first one, which was the Rocket and Baby Groot and the Groot show, but actually turned out to be a collective group effort, and it showed the dynamic between friends and between family and how the group with the addition of old members and new members had collectively come together to form this bond with each other that makes them so unique and so special. You even got a chance to see more of this mm, sexual tension between Gamora and Star-Lord. I'm not just sure if it's just me, but uh, Zoe Zalander, um, I'm starting to get used to her in green and blue skin more than I'm getting used to her in her own brown skin. She looks good either way, but it also gave me an actual real world sense about looking at something and not paying attention to it, but it's sitting right next to you. What I enjoyed most about the movie is hands down the comedy. And I have a particular funny brand of, you know, humor. And this actually had me laugh out loud about 10 times plus. And the two frat boys that were next to me were dying non-stop. They had many quips or different things within the movie that were seen to be forced or that were supposed to make you laugh. And then they had a lot that were just awkward moments that, you know, maybe you shouldn't have been able to laugh at or you shouldn't have laughed at but you end up laughing at. And either it was action music or comedy and on certain occasions all three that thrust the story which was actually about two hours or some change and it made it a very fast paced and enjoyable movie i mean for me this is the movie that's going to usher in the wonder woman's the jla's the spider-man homecomings and even the star wars i'm actually glad that i did see the movie and even though ghost in the shell had nothing to do with this after that middle of the road movie it was refreshing to see something that is actually can be its own genre of movie just like Deadpool is specializing in its own mature rated genre Guardians of the Galaxy has its own niche and it should continue to pump out movies in this particular thing and Marvel likes money so get ready to see more cameos and appearances of your favorite characters from Guardians of the Galaxy since they're already gonna be in Infinity War and not just that, but they're already setting up things for it to look like it's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And that's not a bad thing. I look forward to see what other little things they can do, what other characters they can introduce, and what other villains and particular things they'll actually have to fight against. But this has been your boy Q with another movie review. If you did like this video and you want to take my advice, trust me, I'm very critical on things. And this was a really good movie. Make sure you go check out that movie and make sure you hit that like button and you know what? It's going to be a boom. Subscribe button that pops up right about here any second now. 
hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things movies, all things games, and all things geek. Peace!